Where do you stand that left tackle you kind of left up in the air the other day? Um, we'll come out here. We'll we'll go ahead and go through our normal procedure, um, and then see where we're at the end of the week. Will Josh get the first crack at this? Yeah, he'll get reps. Last, like, yep. Will he get the first crack at reps like he did last week for practice? Yeah, yeah, he will. Dave's about how is he? Um, yeah, he's ramping up is he a guy you might look at left tackle to give him some reps? Yeah, practice? absolutely. He'll get he'll get reps today there, and uh, we'll see where we're at. Mm. How are you Who's not practicing today? Yep. So Dexter, uh, Adori, and Flot, Summers. Jamie will be out here. He's going to kick, kind of kick off to the side and see where he's at. Uh, other than that, everybody will practice some form or fashion. He will. He will. Everybody will do stuff other than those uh, four people. And then Jamie again will kick off to the side, see where he's at. Is Dexter kind of like, is this going to be like a maintenance thing with him early in the week? Or? Uh, I, I'm just taking it for today. Uh, kind of do the similar program that we did last week. We'll see where he is at tomorrow. Um, just make sure he's as healthy as he can be. Is it the same injury as last week? Yeah, same deal. Are you going to sign DJ Hopkins? Yeah, we had him in for a visit, met with him, talked with him. Again, nothing you know, on the horizon right now. Uh, had a good visit with him. Just kind of him get to know us, us get to know him. What's the thought process there, though? I mean, that's a veteran guy. You're already long term wise, at least you have it. Is it, what, what you, what's your thinking with that? With yeah, we had a veteran at that spot, sure. another veteran now at this point. Uh, I think he's a good football player. So, uh, if it's the right fit, then, you know, work something out. And if it's not, then we won't. But it was a good visit. He's coming off an injury, right? He is. So, I mean, is he not quite there yet? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into the where he's at, but. Um, He's a good young man. Um, had a good visit with him, so we'll see where that goes. Why did you guys have Russell Wilson in for a visit this offseason? Yeah, we're I'm, I'm, we're on that beyond that, but I will say this with with Russell, um, he's a good football player. He's been a good football player for a long time. Um, did a heck of a job coming back last week against the Jets. Uh, created explosive plays with Pickens. You know, he's one of the most, you know, last since 2018, one of the higher explosive play quarterbacks, 20 plus plays. Um, won a Super Bowl, was in another Super Bowl. Uh, got a lot of respect for him as, as a person, as a player. Dave, you've been in playing games in Pittsburgh for a number of years now. What is this? This will be the 18th one. Is that 18th? Yeah. Yeah, no. I looked at it the other day. You know what your record is in the 18th? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's fun. I'm just looking at it. Yeah. What, what is it about that place that is uh, well, perennially difficult to deal with? Well, I would just start with the organization. Uh, it's a model of consistency. Um, coach Tomlin is an exceptional coach. Before that, Coach Cower, obviously Coach Nolbeck, 1969. It seems like every meeting that I've had uh, with head coaches you know, that have been part of the staff, it's almost the same meeting. Uh, different faces, uh, but the same meeting relative to the toughness that that team plays with, the grit that they play with, um, you know how they control the line of scrimmage on both sides, run the football, use the action game. Uh, defensively, it's you know just plug and play. You know you've seen with these players, it's just the next guy up. You got you know, JT and Hayward are, are unbelievable football players, but there's a, a style in which they play with that is physical and aggressive. Um, got a lot of respect for you know how they've done things for a long time. You know ever since I've been in the league, just getting ready to play them. I'm, um, you know, well coached, play tough, play physical, have a style that they play with. And, and then the, the atmosphere uh, is is one of the best uh, when you go there and play at their at their stadium. Um, tough place to play and a very tough opponent. It was a weird transition with, with regard to stability, but last night we were with, with John Mara at the screening and obviously he came out and was uh, supportive of you and, and Joe with the Saying he believes in what you guys are doing and he wants stability here. How important is that to you, uh, to you guys, to not to have to worry about that? Not that you don't worry about it. But. Yeah. Well, no. I think you focus on what you can control, and, and I've said this, you know, numerous times. There's, we have a very good communication process, a good relationship. Um, again, nobody's happy about the results or the record, uh, but the communication and the process and, and the people, uh, I believe in. James, when you when you set out to build something, you and Joe got here. Yeah. What you said about the Steelers and what they have, is that essentially that something that everyone chases in this league? 
Yeah, yeah it's pretty unique. I, I would say it's pretty unique, though. Um, the culture that they've had for, for a long time. Obviously, um, that's what you love to have, and that's why you have such a great appreciation. Uh, when you get ready to play this team, um, this coach who's been here for since his 18th year, um, the consistency of, of how they do things is very impressive. You know, I haven't been in that room, so I can't speak on it from the outside looking in. Uh, it's very impressive uh, how they do things. Um, so, but the most important thing is, you know, you go to their place, or you know, it's it's a very tough place to play, and the players, the scheme, the style. Uh, that's why they've been successful. What did you think about Bill Belichick's criticisms of your team? Uh, fill me in. Fill me in. Bill on Tuesday was very critical of your guys' approach with Saquon, or Monday, I think it was after you spoke. Um, he was critical of your guys' approach on the line, putting Josh at left tackle. I would say that my focus is on our team, uh, and we do everything we can do to be as good as we can be. And look, there's there's things we got to do better, um, but I can't focus on you know, the outside. Brian, have you... Uh... Obviously, Daniel's a prideful guy. He wasn't happy with the way everything went down the other day. You know, not playing well, coming out of a game. He said it was a quick conversation. So have you had an extended conversation with him about that and about how it is to be moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I talked to all the players. So, again, those are private conversations. But I'm not, I'm not going to relive last week, 11 minutes left, down 28-3. to three. We're going to get ready to go play Pittsburgh and, and have a good week of practice. I'm talking more about moving forward or not last week. Like, is it important for you to provide him reassurance that, hey, we're not just going to pull you if you, you, you know, if you struggle for a quarter or two or yeah. – yeah, for you know, yeah, no, I, under, purpose, I understand. Purpose, purpose, I understand the question because that's the natural. Yeah, I would, I would, I would say the most a player think that way. Yeah, I would say the most important thing is having a good week of practice and playing well, and that's where our focus is. Uh, his, his numbers, um, the team's numbers with him, his especially are incredibly stark between home and away. Um, is there any theory you have behind that? No, we just all got to do a better job. You don't feel the need to give him reassurance that he's your starter? Yeah, I would say we've had conversations. Those would be private conversations, and our focus is on getting ready to play Pittsburgh. A couple more. Does, does a team need something different on the road, you know, just in general? You know, you've talked about the atmosphere in Pittsburgh. That's not the only tough atmosphere. Is there something to it in all, you know, because your team yeah. has been better this year on the road? Yeah, I would just say we got to play and coach well, uh, regardless of, of – where the venue is, um, we got to do our job, you know, the best we can do it, and get prepared, like we normally do. And again, um, you know, it takes everybody to do that, um, and that's what we do every week. That's what we'll do this week. Uh, but it's the opponent, it's your performance. You know, each week is different. Can you prove the, the struggles you've had on offense the last couple of weeks? Um, is it execution? Is it something about approach that you need to change? Is there anything you can, you can put your finger on? Yeah, I'd say, I mean, it's all encompassing when you're only scoring the, the points that we've scored. You know, we can all do a better job. Do you need to do anything differently on the back end to compensate for some of the guys that are down right now at corner? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go through practice here with the guys we have. We'll, we might be some moving pieces here. We'll see where that goes. Um, and then we'll see where these guys are at relative to you know Thursday or Friday and Saturday. Is Drew an option on the outside, or is he pretty much inside? No, I'd say we're, we're, we'll take a look at some things here today based on who's down for practice, and again, we'll we'll evaluate that as we go. Is Watts a long-term injury? Uh, I, 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 I wouldn't be able to say week to week. I mean, I, I don't, we'll see where he is tomorrow. It's probably, I don't know if he'd be able to make it this week, but I'm not going to rule him out because he hasn't been ruled out to me. How big a challenge is T.J. Watt? And you, you mentioned before yeah. last week about the possibility of Jermaine going to the left side. Does that become less likely because he does play over the right side majority? Um, yeah, I mean, we could stay here for a long time talking about J.T. Watt. Um, I'd say he's unbelievable. Uh, T.J. got me all flustered with the guy. He watches tape and all the turnovers that he has uh, and the style that he plays with. Um, I mean, he's an impressive. He's one of the best players in the league. Um, he creates issues in the run game. He creates issues in the pass game. He bats balls down. He jumps up and intercepts balls that you'd never think you could be intercepted. Uh, he's got hustle, chase. He's, he's a dynamic football. He's one of the better 
defensive players uh, in the league. Um, he's a problem. Highsmith's a problem uh, on the other side. Uh, Hayward inside, when you, when you add all those pieces together, uh, that's why they are where they're at defensively. Um, you can't say enough good things about him when you watch him on tape. He's, he's an impressive, impre and he's been that way since he's played, as is Hayward. It's, you know, they're, dy they're a dynamic front. Uh, Carl Dunbar does a great job with them over at, at Pittsburgh at defensive line, and uh, they're hard to block. You know, they're hard to block. You put a third, ta third down tape on, and uh, you better be able to throw with rhythm and timing because they're there pretty quick.